Okay, so today's video covers fitting the Renline door pulls to your R53 Mini for the first generation. As you can see, my car actually has the HK, HK upgrade on the stereo and the instructions, and I know the Renline website says that you can't fit these to a car with HK. Now you can, but what you do need to do is actually just purchase some non-HK sort of surrounds for your door handles and that will allow you to fit them it doesn't affect the hk tweeter at all because this piece here on the door is actually just for looks just to show that your car actually has the hk upgrade so it has no benefit to it so i'm quite happy i've got these silver ones to match the rest of the trim on my car and um, so i'm actually going to fit those and use them that will allow me to do it without any modification whatsoever and fit these to a car with a hk stereo if you don't have hk then you don't need this step you'll already have these surrounds which work anyway. Okay, so we're gonna start our instructions off with how to remove the door trim or the door card on a Mini R53. So what you need to do is insert of a flathead screwdriver, or in this case, a trim panel tool, just to get the clip behind there, and then slide that forward and off. You can see that was just to depress that locking clip there. And that allows us to take that that trim off. Next, we have three screws here to remove. One. Two. Get that screwdriver in there. Okay, so that's three. And the fourth one is actually hidden up here behind this reflector. Just pop a flat headed screw behind that screwdriver, pop that off, and you can see there's just a fourth screw there. Just remove that. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do is actually remove this bezel trim here. You just again get a trim tool behind it, and it should simply pop off like that. Okay, so the next step is to actually get the door trim off itself, so the actual door card. So screwdriver under this bottom corner, help to pop it out, and then literally, you should just unclip. Just come over this side. There you go. And that's easy enough to remove, then just on the back here, you'll have your puddle light, which you should just be able to pop out or you can just unplug it whatever's easier for you and that's your door card off okay so next we're going to move the actual remove the actual door handle itself it's held on with three Phillips screws just get those out one one in the middle that's two and a third down here. Okay, and that's your door handle removed. Okay, so then next step is on the back of your handle, you'll have two connectors, two power connectors. One for the tweeter itself. Let's pull that apart and disconnect that. The second one is this connector here for the light. Again, just squeeze that, disconnect that so you've got all the wires loose and disconnected. Okay, so the next step is to actually remove the cable itself. All you do is pull this black section out slightly, up, and out. And that's that cable then disconnected as well. Okay, so now we've got the handle off the car. What we need to do is actually remove this little pin here. You can see there's a spike end and there's an end that's got these little notches on, so it's actually the, the spiky end, sort of the same end as the light, that you need to knock out. Now I've seen other videos where they, that simply presses out, just with a screwdriver, and you push down and that pin pops out. That wasn't so easy on mine, so I'm gonna show you a little trick on how I managed to take that out. Okay, so it's, like I say, it's the spiky end that you need to push out, so a little trick to do that is to actually 
put the spiky side up. So the spiky side is here. Let's do it a little bit close to the camera. So you can see, hopefully, the spiky end is here. And we've pushed that unit right on the side so that if you look from underneath, the metal bit that we're hitting down should pop out. And what I do, tap that down. You can see already, let's bring that up on the camera, that that's now gone flush, that pin. You can see this, the spike, the end with the spines on is actually out now, it's sticking out. So you should be able to, like the videos online, to actually push that pin out. There you go. That's that pin release. That's what we were trying to remove. Okay, so the next step is to actually remove this handle. See the spring has come out. We no longer need that spring. So put that to one side. Then the handle should come out, and again, we're not going to need that either, so put that to one side. That gives us our handle to work on. Okay, so the next step is to take your bracket, so you can see that bracket there. They are sided, so they are two different ones, so best to make sure that this hook part on the end lines up with this bit where the cable comes in on the car. And all you do see there is just slide that through and put it in place of where that pin should slot through it and then obviously once we've got the cable when it's back on the car that should hook on and line up with that okay so once that's in place we need to put the pin back in so again where we've got this raised section underneath slot the pin in and that should go all the way through. And if you can't quite push it in by hand, again, just put it on the edge of the desk. You're working on the surface you're working on. We'll just give it a gentle tap in. And you should be able to see that's nice and smooth now and the pin sticking out the other side. So when you look into your door handle, you've now got that pull release that we're expecting to see. Okay, so the next step in this process is to take the little template here. So this is actually a drill template that allows you to drill a hole in the back of your handle for the later on in the process. And this really easy, just slots over the back. So if you can see the way that perfectly slots in place. So, and this is used for both sides. And all you do is take the drill bit so you don't need to worry about the right size because this is drill bit actually comes with the kit. Make sure your template is in place and just drill through the plastic. And there you've got a tiny little hole. Then a tiny little one uh, in the middle here, and that's just used for later on in the process. Okay, so the next step is we're going to fit the pull strap. Now the manufacturer instructions actually say just to put a screwdriver in here and just separate those out a little bit just so that we make sure when this is slotted in place there's a bit of freedom, a bit of room for it to pivot on its own so let's make this job a little bit easier, open that up, drop that in place and there should be, you see there, a bit of wiggle room Take your Allen key, pop that on the end of your screw. Put your screw in place. And start to tighten that up a little bit. There you go, before you know it. There we go, just tighten that, that up. and you've got some movement on that as well which is what you want okay so the next step is to fit your handle back to the car and you're just doing everything in reverse so slot that into your door pull like so pull on the cable and then insert it back into there just like that Next, connect up your cables, so reinsert the light one. 
one and the tweeter cable the tweeter connector two we'll take that round the next step is to get all your screws in place you can see there's a locating pin on the back of here that just goes into the door like so push that in hold that in place while we grab hold of our screws line that up properly that would help that's one okay one down below that's two okay so we've got one in the center hole as well it's balancing in there we go get started with that then whiz we're done up, handle in place, tweet in place, wiring, all in place. You can see the door handle. Yeah, okay, so the next step, so once you've got that handle in and it looks like it's working, so actually test the door. Still opens from the outside, test it from the inside, and that works as well by pulling the door core handle. Also, another check. So you close the door, then use your key fob, lock the central locking, and just make sure that that actually locks. So that's the central locking test done, and that works as well. Okay, now for putting your door card back on. It's a nice, easy process, simple to do. First of all, make sure that you put the lights back in place slide that back through the bottom of the door card and then simply all you do is make sure that that lock in in the top there make sure your strap isn't stuck and it should simply be a case of tapping all the way around and that's all your clips and pins are attached. So you put a light under there. Let's get that back in. Okay, and then it's simply a case of putting your four screws back in. Let's start with the front two, they're the longer screws. One. Two. One in here. Fourth and final one up here. And just make sure you clip your reflector back in to cover up that hole. And then your armrest. And that just attaches in place. Okay, so one of your final steps is actually to reintroduce door handle surround trim give it a good old bash if you need to just to get that attached and in place you see that's now locked in place so final step is to install the cover with the screw and all it, okay so all it does is uses the hole in here that you drilled earlier so slot your webbing through line up the screw with the hole that you drilled earlier and it's simply now should be a case of taking your screwdriver And that's now your 
red line, door handle pulls, done, and in place.
still caught on. Okay, so bring that in. Remember, we've removed the hydrant. We're going to put this down there to seal that surround. So I'm going to be a bit tricky. There you go. You can fight over me, yeah. Thank you. 